Hey guys, welcome to Board Smashing. Today we have the Sega Genesis Classic Whatever Edition Mini. If you've noticed, I'm not as chippy as I usually am because I'm having the infamous YouTuber burnout. I'm burnt out from all of these stupid mini classic console releases. This one's the latest and it's the most boring yet. What do I mean by that? Well, when Nintendo released their NES and SNES Classic Edition consoles, they were super popular. You had tons of people who wanted these, complain about scalpers, and how Nintendo didn't make enough at launch. That makes these exciting! Then, when PlayStation released their mini console, everyone hated it. You had people complaining about the game selection, it being loaded with games from different regions, and it was fun to see how low the price would go on this thing. This was interesting because of those things. I bought a second one just to keep it in the box when it was only $40. And today, we have the Sega Genesis Mini. No articles online about how it's just flying off of store shelves, or how bad it is and no one's buying it. I heard it's a decent mini console. Which makes it boring. Let's just unbox it. And here it is, the only successful Sega console in a mini format. And of course the only thing keeping their video games alive today is featured prominently on the box. And he's here, here, and here. Whoa, look at all these great games that are probably great classics in someone's book. But if we look here, we have a bonus game. What is it? Tetris? You mean the game that's already on everything? Wow, what an exclusive. Okay, let's open this thing up. Mm. Instructions. HDMI cable, mini USB cable, and a power brick. In my opinion, I'm pretty sure everyone has an extra one of these things already, so I don't think these should come with a new device in 2019. Just my opinion. Save fossil fuels. Comes with two controllers. And the console itself. Ooh, there's some scratches on it already. I wonder why. And there's that. The only reason I felt obliged to buy this is because my video on the at game Sega Genesis did damn well. Which is funny, because I said this in that video. Today, we have an episode similar to this one, but it won't get as many views as this one. It's hilarious. Because it crushed the NES Classic Edition video and the SNES Classic Edition video in terms of views. Know your place. Even the at game Sega Genesis console was more interesting than this one. Because the quality control on that one was awful. I actually pre-ordered this thing months in advance. When I went to pick this up, they had two on the shelves. I did the same thing with the PlayStation Classic, so clearly I haven't learned my lesson on not pre-ordering non-Nintendo stuff yet. Now before we hook up this investment, just like with the PlayStation Classic, I got its original Big Brother was born from. Original box and all. It was kinda expensive. I only got it because of the box. It's a cool looking box. I'm keeping the box. AC adapter, TV hookups, the controller, the console itself, and... Mmm. I mean, ew, gross, furry game. Ugh, yuck. Am I really gonna shred a rare game manual for content? I don't know. Okay, let's take this all inside now. Okay, so let's compare the classic one to the classic -er one. Something notable is the volume slider and headphone jack on the older one. On the new one, it still has a volume slider, but you can't plug in headphones, but there's still a hole and text for headphones. 
And just like the old one, the flats for the cartridge port move, even though it doesn't take any cartridges. Controller ports are also in the same place,